Hi there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for the week of the 25th. If this one doesn't resonate, and it might not since it's a reading for the collective, go ahead and check out your other placements and my other readings, specifically your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do this anyway since there could be messages there for you. All right, we're looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull more cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe while I have you here since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that information down below along with the link to the extended. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. So we have a relationship here that didn't work out. Two of cups in reverse. Two of cups in reverse is, there's a strong connection. The two of you were usually on the same page. You were wanting the same things. You were equally giving to this connection. And then something kind of misfired here. It's in the reverse. That's sometimes a breakup with someone or a pullback emotionally here. We have the four of cups. So this is usually someone out of alignment. They don't know what they want. They don't know what would make them happy. You may have offered them your love. Like you can see the cup being offered to her and she's sort of just not interested in it, not even seeing it. So this does feel like a breakup to me or a break with somebody. We've got the five of cups thinking about the past what might have been, what could have been, what should have been. There's a heck of a lot of cups here. Some of you may be dealing with another water sign um, or someone who's deep in their feelings, as well as the six of cups. That's a card of the past as well. This is like nostalgia for the past. It can be very bittersweet, you know, thinking about the good old days or, you know, do you remember when we did this or remember when we did that? Um, I do think there's a very close very loving connection here, but there was some sort of resistance from the person. Maybe they didn't know what they wanted at the time. Now, we have very soon clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. Again, there's a need for decisions for getting an alignment, and we have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. The Six of Cups can be something of a soul connection to someone or some sort of a soul tie. You may have also just a long shared history with this person, but there is a deep connection here. It just isn't working the way that it should. All right, let's check out your person. Okay, Pisces, here's what we have so far. The star is major for Aquarius. It's someone being wishful or hopeful or optimistic. It can also mean someone who just sort of views you as out of their reach. Maybe they're doing a lot of thinking about you or manifesting you. And then this five of pentacles showing up here, which is a sense of loss, feeling lonely, feeling isolated, being in the cold. I'm not sure if they maybe ghosted you or you walked away from them or, I don't know, mutually things kind of petered out between the two of you here, but there is a sense of loss and the devil, major for Capricorn. It's possible you're dealing with the Capricorn here. I would also say the devil is an obsession about you or still feeling that tie. You can see the little ties on his, his hand. It's someone who still feels tied to you, who still thinks about you. This person could have also had some toxic behaviors. Um, sometimes this is a card of like, drug use or abuse or alcoholism or gambling or sex addiction. Um, it can also mean just self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage. But there is one aspect of this card where it's like I'm obsessing about something. I'm tempted to do something about this. They may not be speaking with you, but I don't think that they're, you're not very far from their thoughts. All right. Tell me about Pisces person. Okay, we've got the Two of Swords, which is making a head over heart decision, uh, making a very tough call. 
So they still had emotion for you, but they walked away anyway. And I don't think it was an easy decision. Or they stayed away from you. What's going on with Pisces person? Okay. And we've got the Eight of Wands. Hold on. So there's about to be some movement here. Eight of Wands is movement. It's momentum. It's messages. Hello, Blue. So basically there is some contact from this person coming in. I would say they've been thinking about this for a while. All right. Tell me about Pisces person. It's possible at the star that you're a Pisces Aquarius cusp too. All right. Yeah, we've got the Ace of Swords. There's probably information or confession, something unexpected from this person coming in. And I think it's because they've been thinking a lot about you or ruminating about you. Um, maybe even, I don't know, maybe there's like an anniversary or a birthday coming up or for some other reason, this person is nostalgic about you. They've been thinking about you a lot. All right, let's clarify this and see what comes out. Tell me about Pisces person. Okay, we've got the seven of pentacles here and we've got the hierophant, major for Taurus. Hierophant is structure in a relationship, it's structure in society, it's like religion, politics, education, family, marriage. Maybe this person is more together now than when you last were with them. Maybe they've gotten their act together. This person may be interested in something more serious, like adding some structure to your relationship. Seven of Pentacles is like, let's start at the beginning, let's plant some seeds for the future. It's wanting to put time and effort and energy into a connection. They may have figured out what they finally wanted here. They may have had a little bit of an epiphany even with this Ace of Swords, an aha moment. Tell me about this person. Yeah, they're wanting to give to the connection, Six of Pentacles. That's balancing it out. Um, you may have been very giving with this person and they didn't necessarily return the favor. It's wanting to balance the scales between the two of you. They wanna give you the tea too. Do you see the teas being poured in here? We have the Ace of Swords, which is information. I think they have a confession. There's something they're gonna tell you about. You may not know the whole story here. There may be a bit of a revelation for you too. All right, and then just a second here, I'm gonna pull a card for how this person currently feels about you. Yeah, they're gonna make you an offer, Page of Pentacles. That's giving someone time, energy, effort. It's possible you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, particularly a younger one. Or this is just someone handing you some coin, handing you something valuable. Maybe they've realized too late the value of this connection. Even with the Five of Pentacles, this person could have a sense of like poor self-esteem. Maybe they don't think too highly of themselves. They've had a lot of losses. Sometimes the devil, it can go all the way to like you're dealing with a stalker, someone who, with real issues to someone who's kind of their own worst enemy and they don't really think a whole lot of themselves and that's why they end up doing the things that they do. It's going to vary for everybody here. It's a matter of degree. I think of the devil sometimes as like the bad boy or girl card, depending on what else is around it. All right. All right, we've got the world in reverse, major for Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Could be dealing with the fixed sign, but there's some um, unfinished business when the world shows up. 
uh, this connection isn't over, even though you may think it is. By the way, there'll be some of you down below who'll be like, I don't want this person back. You really, really need to stop watching readings about this person then. Um, that's basically, you just kind of opened an energetic doorway to the person and invited them in. So be cautious when doing that. All right, let's do how, what their current feelings are. So how does this person currently feel about you? a little preview of the extended. That's too many. All right, we've got the Four of Cups in reverse showing up here, and we've got the Knight of Swords. Four of Cups is feeling like I'm out of whack I don't know what I want. In the reverse, I'm not missing out on an opportunity. They feel like you you or this relationship was a missed opportunity here. Knight of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It's possible you're dealing with an air sign. As an energy, though, the Knight of Swords is someone who goes in half-cocked. They don't have a plan. Uh, they're very reactionary. So this person may have like hastily run out of your life. They may have been embodying that Knight of Swords energy. Like I said, there's a little bit of a Peter Pan vibe going on here. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you want the extended, click the join button or look for the link in the description box. You can also order your own private reading if you want to. My least expensive is $20. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be.